I, I was going to say, if the sponsor decides not to sell and to uh, refinance and then cash everybody out, then that transaction may have some uh, additional tax benefits with it to the investors as well, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So part of the strategy on a lot of these deals, there's two primary strategies. Think about this on pretty much any value add project. You have the value add phase, and which is a conversion of a hotel to multifamily or whatever it is on existing multifamily renovations. Once that completes, you, the the sponsor typically either sells it outright, which is a you know call, just call it two to three year flip, or strategy number two, refinance, return a substantial amount of capital, and hold it for say five year hold. So we welcome both. In, in either scenario, it works for us. If it's a refi, it's a return of capital tax free completely, which is always welcome, right? Mm -hmm. And on the, uh, on the other side, if it's a sale event that happens fast, it typically increases the the annualized return. The IRR, internal rate of return, goes to the roof. So we welcome I, either strategy works. Most of these deals aren't written uh, for a you know five year hold, but some of them uh, will in immediately say, "Hey, we're gonna re we're gonna uh, value add and then sell immediately." So. It works for us. We actually like both of, of these strategies in the fund. Why? Because we want some assets to flip in two years, some in three, some in four, and some in five. We don't want everything to come out on the back end because investors sure. ask us, when am I going to see some money back? Well, you're going to see some money back earlier because some stuff will flip. So that you could do that in a fund. It's harder to do it with one-off deals because you get all or not. Whatever happens in that deal, that's what you get. Right. right. That's Thanks. awesome.